Welcome to Exidium's open EDR solution. In today's video, I'd like to walk you through spinning up a free Exidium Enterprise Platform account, which will give you instant access to our EDR capabilities. Head on over to openedr.com to get started. For those of you who want to dive directly into the source code, feel free to click on the red button. It'll redirect you to our GitHub page. But for those of you who are ready to start testing out our free EDR solution, let's click on the blue button to get started. It's going to redirect you to our sign up page. Enter your name. Enter a valid email account. I'm going to go with Cyber Timmer. Enter a password. And finally, enter a number. This is a fake number, so don't try to call in. Create account. This is going to redirect you to a thank you for signing up page. We're going to click on the login to Exidium Enterprise Platform button. Enter the email that you just provided and a password that you just created and click login. Here at Exidium, we believe in taking cybersecurity serious. We automatically implement two factor authentication for your portal to protect your portal. Uh, please first install your favorite Authenticator app from the Google Play Store or App Store. I'm going to use Microsoft's Authenticator app. What you're going to do is scan the QR code. And this is going to give you a verification code to access the portal. Of course, it changed because I'm not fast enough. Let's go 7 this now redirects you to spinning up of the services on the back end. So all of the back end infrastructure and necessary services are being generated. This might take a moment or two. This would be the time to grab yourself a quick cup of coffee or sit back and relax. Uh, but typically, this takes uh, only around a few moments or so to, to set up and provision uh, your account. Now that that's complete, we're only two steps away from experiencing our EDR solution. So we're going to click on the next option. We're now going to receive a link or URL that we can leverage in order to download our communication client. And there's a couple of ways of deploying this. We can either use this URL or we can go into the devices section and download it as a package. For purposes of this demo, I'm going to use the URL. So we're going to copy this to clipboard. We're going to enter this into the endpoint we want to install our communication client on. So go up to the search bar, enter the URL. This is going to redirect us to our endpoint manager enrollment installer. We're going to click on download Windows installer. Once this is complete, we're going to open and execute the file. This is now configuring our endpoint manager, which will communicate directly into our Exidium platform. Once this is successful, you will see a notification tray icon here saying that your device is now enrolled. Let's pivot back to our browser and we'll click next. And now we're going to install the EDR solution. So let me click on finish here and close. Under the asset section within devices, we're now going to see the devices that are communicating in. So our South Park device is communicating into the enterprise portal. You're also going to see this where your devices are not secure. So this is a notification that your antivirus, our next gen antivirus solution, our endpoint protection platform that has containment, that has HIPs, and firewall uh, that has not been installed yet but for purposes of today's video we're just going to focus on our edr solution so we're just going to hit the x icon to mark this out if i select the south park uh, endpoint i'm going to click on install or manage packages install exidium exidium packages and i'm going to select install exidium client edr this is going to do a force reboot within five minutes i'll click install and 
a command has now been sent down to the endpoint. I'm going to pivot back over to our machine, close out the browser. As soon as that command has been received, you will see a prompt on here notifying you that the EDR agent has been installed and a reboot will occur within a matter of moments. Your device will reboot in five minutes because it's now required by your administrator. Because I am impatient, I'm going to do it myself. Now this will fully install our EDR client. As that's occurring, I'm going to go back over to our enterprise platform portal and walk you through a few items. Under the security section, we're going to click on endpoint security. You're going to have an alerts interface. So this is where all of our EDR alerts will trigger. This is a triage workflow interface that'll allow you to look at all the events that have triggered within the environment based on severity level. If we click on alerts and go under the alert policy, you will see all the predefined EDR alerts uh, that we have within the console. So click on Exidium predefined policy, and you'll see a list of them here. They are broken down by process events, registry events, file events. This is all the different types of telemetry that we are collecting within our open EDR solution. You can click directly on a rule, such as process dump of LSAS. You can see that it's been mapped to the MITRE ATT&CK framework, tactic credential access, technique LSAS memory, and then you can see the parameters that have been outlined within the signature. Now, these rules can be modified. Uh, they, we can add additional rules as well. You can generate your own policy for testing purposes. Uh, these are read only within this predefined policy set, but you can create your own policies as well. Let me just show you how to do that. If you go back into the alert policy, Oh, we also want to click do not show next time so you don't see that icon anymore. And we can click on the create policy option. So we can enter a new policy name such as testing. This is now created a new policy and we can now edit the policies that we have existing uh, within the console. So now we can ma manually edit these. We'll cancel out of here. Now I'd like to show you the events search section. So if you click on investigate event search, this is where all of our telemetry will be available for analyzing. So if we look over the last 30 days or so, as soon as the EDR agent has communicated in, we'll see this data being populated within this section here, right? We can add additional fields as well that we can populate. So if I want to, for example, see adaptive event name, such as the EDR rules that have triggered, if I want to see the path and command line activity, right, we can select these and click save, and this will allow us to now see all that activity that's occurring. We can also add additional aggregation boxes as well. So for example, if I want to see the adaptive event names that are triggering, we can add that and click save. So as soon as EDR rules or alerts are, are triggered, we will see them directly within this, uh, this particular box. Now, if we go back to our endpoint and we log back in, we can now test uh, for EDR alerts to be generated within the console. So after this is logged in, we're going to execute a couple of commands, and then we're going to look at that data directly within the console. Now that this is available, I have a pre-made test.bat script available. I'm going to double click on this going to execute a couple of commands. Who am I? Task list. And once that telemetry has been recorded, it's now going to send it up to our console. So if I go back into our console and I want to review that data, I'll just refresh this by clicking on the search button. It might take a moment or two to make its way into the portal. As you can see, the Who Am I program executed. Here it is right here. System user discovery command has been executed. We can look at the telemetry associated with that, all the metadata details that have been collected, such as process create time, process hash details. Uh, we can see the child information. We can also pivot off of this hash information to look at the process tree that's available. So if I click on process hash and go into show in process timeline, this gives us a timeline view. It allows us to pivot quickly across this data and drill down into the information that has been executed on this endpoint. We can also look at it in a tree view format. So we can see all the different uh, alerts that triggered once I clicked on that batch script. 
see system user discovery commands, information discovery commands. There's also a binary executing from the temporary directory, this one.exe. So we go back to the event search section to look at that data. I can repopulate that by adding the fields that I want to see. I want to look at the command line activity and click save. We can also widen our search by looking at 100 fields or events. We can scroll down and see all that additional telemetry that's been collected as well. So here are the three rules that triggered, system user discovery, system information discovery, and then a binary executing on the temporary directory. So that's it for today's uh, overview of installing our EDR agent. We are gonna be providing additional videos as well, so stay tuned. Thank you.